Welcome everybody and in this video session we come up with count ifs formula. One of the most powerful formula in case you want to establish control systems in the data that you're working with. And soon you'll understand how this is going to benefit you. Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. The first instance that we're going to take is a list of uh, hypothetical party names TCS, IBM and Zenith. I would want to know that the word TCS, the name TCS, how many times it is appearing in the given list. Now basic count formula or count A formula will only talk about occurrences of anything in the given range. Let's say 8 occurrences in total. But what we want is a very specific criteria based count for which let me begin writing the formula count ifs. I go to the FX button which is the insert function button and here we begin our journey criteria one let me pick up the cell the one in light yellow that is TCS criteria range one since it's a pair value I would step inside criteria range one and pick up the array of values so a6 to a13 I'm going to press f4 that's how it goes as I can see from the sample answer it says three which means as I press ok I get three three indicating TCS is appearing three number of times as I change the name to IBM it still shows me three but if I write Zenith and that is appearing two times so at a very basic level count is is the formula which counts the number of occurrences in a given range for the specified criteria or criteria in fact a lot of people prefer to write the count if formula adjacent to the data that they are working with so in this case, I'm going to put the count if formula under the heading occurrences. Click on effects, go to criteria one, pick up the input criteria one, the one just left to it. And then in the criteria range one, pick up the entire range of value after which, of course, you're going to fix this entire array. I press OK. The answer for TCS3, I'll double click to get this formula copy pasted. And you would notice against Zenith, it says two. In fact, if I just change the value to TCS from IBM to TCS, you notice the ones which are appearing four number of times has the value four against them. So this was the basic usage of count ifs formula. If you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks, why don't you check out our entire library? Use the link in the description below. And in fact, if you want to just add one more layer of complexity, let me also write that NEFT, NEFT, uh, through NEFT payment that Zenith, the company Zenith through NEFT mode, how much, how many times it has given me the amount. So I want to find out in the entire list how many Zenith company exists. Not only that, amongst Zenith, the one which shows NEFT, how many are there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the count is formula again. Click on FX open up all the boxes because I would need two pairs of criteria this time. So criteria one, that's in it. Criteria two, notice I'm stepping inside the fourth box which says criteria two and I'm choosing the cell NEFT. Now once I have done so, the sample preview shows me Zenith against the second box. So I step inside criteria range one and choose the range of values from A6 to A13, pressing F4 to lock it. I step inside the third box which says criteria range 2. Now what was my criteria 2? It was NEFT. So let me choose same height from the column F. I can see the height is same A6 to A13, F6 to F13. I'm going to lock that. Okay. So it says Zenith NEFT appearing only one time and if I write TCS NEFT that is appearing three times. You can vouch for accuracy just by looking at the data and here it goes three times. So this was the two different application of count if formula. And to close the entire session, let me just quickly show you how instance number is formulated and showed on the screen. What is instance number? In a long list, I want to find out that TCS appears first time, TCS appears second time, TCS appears third time. For IBM, it's going to be first time and second time towards the last end. So this we will adopt a similar strategy as what we have also adopted for some if formula. So we write count ifs, click on fx, 
go to criteria one, pick up TCS. But when you go to criteria range one, you pick up the same cell but add a colon to it, automatically A6 appears once again. And make sure you lock only the starting point of this range. So eventually the range is going to increase. It should start with A6 and it's going to increase to A7, A8, A9 as you copy paste it down. So when I do that, notice what you get. So TCS, in fact, let me hide the other columns which are not going to be of any help right now. So here you go. TCS appearing first time, second time, third time and fourth time. IBM appearing first time and second time. Oh, you might be thinking, where would I need this? Well, I've seen people, they want unique ID codes to be generated from repeating IDs. So in this case, if I combine TCS with that of this number that we got this on our screen, you will be able to populate unique IDs based on column A and column C values. TCS 1, 2, TCS 3, 4, IBM 1, 2, Zenith 1, 2. So this we often refer as differential cumulative count or in simple terms it is the instance number. So there you go that was a super trick from the countess formula.